Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie Wismer. I'm an author and an editor. I have six books out currently. Book number seven comes out April 5th. It's called Breakable Things. And we're gonna do a writing vlog today. If you are a regular viewer and you're thinking this looks different than usual, that's because we're in a different room than usual. If you haven't already checked out my vlog channel, I've been posting over there the whole process of what's been going on. If you want more of an explanation, basically I'm moving and I'm flipping my current place into a rental unit. So there's some vlogs of that. It's still ongoing. I am moving into my new place April 1st. And yeah, so now my desk is in what is my bedroom and we're turning my office into the second bedroom. So we got a lot of stuff done this weekend and it's been interesting because uh, we were taking all of the pictures to put up the advertisement for the place, but all of my stuff is still here. So we were like staging all of the pictures for each of the bedrooms, all of the rooms. So basically what we did was we would pull everything out of the room that wasn't gonna stay and shove it into another room, stage the room, take a picture, shove everything back into that room to empty out a different room, take the picture. So basically my stuff is everywhere. It's a mess, but the pictures turned out great and we're trying to get that listing up today actually. So things are moving forward. I'm excited about it. But with that said, this week has been you know, decorating, getting the furniture, getting all of the condo stuff ready. And then last week I was in Portland, Oregon. So I haven't been writing the past two weeks just because even when I had some extra time, it was just really hard for me to focus and like get my brain into that state with all of this chaos going on. So now this weekend, I feel like it's the first time I'm ready to actually sit down and get some stuff done. So I thought we would do a vlog. I'm also super excited about the sponsor of today's video. They're called The Reserve. Basically, they're a company with a ton of different simple superfoods. So they have different supplements and powders and things like that to implement into your diet. And they sent me some of their products. So they sent me their hair skin and nails gummies, some organic blue spirulina powder, peach matcha, and then also organic maca powder. So actually I have some of the um, spirulina in my green smoothie, which is why it's a much prettier shade of green than it usually is. And honestly, it doesn't change the taste of my smoothie whatsoever, but it's supposed to help with memory and gut health. It's a powerful antioxidant and has anti-inflammatory properties. I've also been taking these gummies for the past week or so. So I feel like it's too early to say like, yeah, it's helped my hair. Yeah, it's helped my nails or anything like that. I'm hoping because I've got nails that break really easily. So check back in with me in like a month. I feel like that's probably when I'll start to see a change, but I can tell you with all of the different gummies like this that I've tried, these taste the best. So the reason why I really love this company is they really care about keeping their products clean and they're vegan. They send out their products in small batches, so they're always fresh. They're tested by a third party. They have products from all over the world. And you also have a lot of different options on how you can incorporate them. You could blend them into a smoothie like I did. You could put them into your oatmeal. You can bake with them. You can put them into just like some juice or milk or any kind of drink. So I like how versatile they are. Like I said, it doesn't change the taste at all. So yeah, this is just an example of some of their products. They have so many different options. I'm gonna have a link down below in my description if you want to go check them out and you can use my code Kate's book date for a discount that'll be valid for the next month, I believe. So yeah, make sure to check them down below in the description. Okay, smoothie done. Feeling good. Do you guys want to see how the condo looks right now? <laughs> So, if you're familiar at all with how it used to look, this is now my bedroom. This used to be on this wall. That obviously used to be in my office. There used to be a bookshelf here. There used to be a dresser over there. Both of them have disappeared. That is just the case everywhere. Same with the kitchen. Like, the box is in disaster. is inevitable. But now, the office is pretty cleared out. I'm taking my chair with me but I think we're gonna leave that little desk. And we got that nightstand back there. We just need to put a bed in here. We got some curtains up there. We got some new chairs for the kitchen table. New decorations. I painted the fireplace. Look how much better it looks now. And that thing over there. New mirror. Bookshelves are out here now. That table is coming with me. This is the current state of things. The worst part about all of this has just been like, my stuff is now everywhere and it's in places that it didn't used to be in. So now anytime I need to find anything, I have absolutely no idea where it is. Breakable Things is coming out April 5th and that's all done pretty much. I ordered a proof copy, it should be here on Monday. I'll do one final proofread and then it should just be good to go. So the two projects that I'm currently working on, I'm working on Bloodless Ties, which is my third book in my Marionette series. And then I'm also working on a pen name book. 
So those are the two that we're gonna be writing today. I've been writing a little bit this morning. We have 732 words so far in Bloodless Ties. I don't really know how much of the pen name I've done. <laughs> We'll get to it. So now I'm moving over to an energy drink. So yeah, Bloodless Ties is at 81,491 words. We're getting somewhere. Not at the end, but to somewhere. And I've basically just been jumping over to the pen name book whenever I need a break. I've also been getting back into dictation. That's been helping me a lot. Now that I have that green smoothie, I'm like really paranoid that I've got green in my teeth. So anyway, um, I might get up and pace around and do some more dictation. Or I might actually sit here. I don't know what it is about like putting your desk in a new location that like feels like a refresh, you know? So I've never had my desk here. I've never like sat here to try to write before. So I don't know. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I like it kind of. It's a snowy day. It's cold. I am not going outside. So we are going to be indoors chilling and hopefully getting some good writing done. My goal is I want to be done with the rough draft of Bloodless Ties. I mean, ideally before the end of March because I'm going to be moving that whole last week of March. So if we could finish it before that, that would be ideal. If not, I want to finish it by the end of April and then it can be off with my beta readers while I focus on something else. This rough draft is taking me longer than I thought it would, but not for lack of trying. This book has just ended up being so complicated. All of these books are, all of them have really complicated plots, but now that we're in the third book of the series, you know, I have the third book's plot, which is complicated, but then I also have everything that I've built in book one and book two that I have to also like make sure all of those things are tied up and everything. So this book has been the hardest to write in the series so far. It's just been so complicated <laughs> and it's obviously going to be the longest. But with that said, I am still really enjoying writing it. I've been having a really good time with it. So it's been challenging in the sense that I have to take more breaks and like really brainstorm and think things through. I haven't been able to just like streamline through this process. Usually it takes me one or two months to write the rough draft of a book. I think Wicked Souls might have taken me a little bit longer, maybe three months, but usually I knock out my rough drafts really quickly and then I need a lot of revision obviously, but usually <laughs> I write really fast. This book we started in November maybe? November, December, January, February, March, possibly April. This is going to be the longest I have ever spent on a single draft of a book. So this is a new experience for me, for sure. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold. for the day now is 1,426. A good start, a good start to the day. It's like 1.30. We're gonna take a break. I'm gonna get some lunch. I just finished cleaning up the dictation too. So far, so good. Oh, big yawn. Mr. Dean has been hanging out with me all day. We're gonna go get some kombucha. Don't mind the non-matching socks. I don't know where the rest of my socks are. This'll do. It's a little after six. What time did I update you last? I can't remember. Uh, but things have been going really well. I've been doing a mix of dictating and just writing, typing. So we've gotten 1,925 words for bloodless ties and about 1,777 words for my pen name. So we're like just under 4,000 total for the day. Please calm down. It's only six o'clock, so we might get some more done. I think I'm gonna take a break right now. Although to be honest, I don't feel like tired or like I can't write anymore. So we're having a good time. We're having fun with it. Um, in case you didn't see my, I think it was my last video with the trip announcement. Um, our trip to Spain is now open for booking for September of 2023. I can have a link down below if you wanna check it out. Um, thank you guys so much for those of you who have already booked. I wasn't sure if anyone was going to do it this early. Um, and we have several people already signed up. So very exciting to see. We still have a handful of spots left for the early bird price. If you want to get a discount, if you want to wait a little bit until a little bit closer to the date, 
that's cool too you obviously have plenty of time the thing with bloodless ties is interesting because um this part of the book has not gone the way that i have thought it was going to go so i just started writing and I just kind of you know followed where the scene took me and it took me in a direction i wasn't expecting so i don't not like it i like it like this but now i'm kind of like slowing down because it doesn't completely change all of my plans but i am gonna have to tweak some things because of this so now i'm like hmm everything that i like had so solid in my head isn't gonna work anymore so we're gonna have to adjust a little bit good morning happy sunday don't mind the shine i have aqua for all over my face the girls that get it get it we got another snowy snowy day so we're making some coffee i think i'm actually gonna try putting this in my coffee we'll see how it goes is it really that late oh it's 9 45. um i think i woke up around the same time but i literally just like laid in bed all this time on my phone 19 degrees absolutely not i've been out of my routine because of everything that's been going on so I haven't been able to do my like morning routine in a while and I've really started to miss all of my little just like usual routine stuff. So we're gonna make a coffee, I'm gonna go sit on the couch, we're gonna read and we're gonna watch the snow, put on the fireplace. I don't know why I cannot get these out. As perfect as the new dream apartment is, the only thing it doesn't have, this is really dark, I'm sorry, just give me a minute. Um, it has everything I want except for the one thing it doesn't have that this place has is a fireplace. So we're gonna make use of the fireplace for as long as we have it. We got the listing up for this place last night. So I'm excited about that. These are fighting me today. So it's just like a tiny bit, it's a fourth of a tablespoon. I don't know why I was surprised that it was so blue because it says it's blue. Like look, it's like electric blue. This is interesting. So funny. <laughs> Oh no. I'm sure it's still gonna taste good. It's just gonna look disgusting. It's like swamp water. I guess Maxine is going to be joining us. Hello. And Mr. Dean. So I'm still reading The Body Keeps the Score. Honestly, I'm not that far into it. Like I said, we've taken a break um, because of everything. So I'm like 56 pages into it. But I've been finding it really interesting. I've been enjoying it. I think this is just gonna be the look for today. Um, I'm doing laundry, I'm going to be cleaning up and trying to organize myself amidst the chaos of my current situation. I hope that <laughs> diffuser isn't super annoying. I'm still extremely shiny, but my skin was so dry. So I've gotten 600 words for Bloodless Ties written this morning and about 300 words for the pen name book. So a little bit of progress, not that much, but we've gotten started at least all before noon and I got out of bed really late. So I'll take what I can get. The spirulina in the coffee made it a weird color, but it was fine. I drank it all, didn't change the taste at all. Yeah, I think we're just gonna kinda take it easy. Have a lazy sun, not a lazy Sunday, a productive Sunday. So at some point I wanna get a workout in. And like I said, I wanna get some laundry done and also start packing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take all of my stuff with me when I move. So I've already done a couple of sweeps to find like books and clothes I don't want to keep and I've been giving them away. But then I also have two storage units here with this condo um, that I might just like pack up some stuff I don't think I'm gonna wear and leave some bins in there. So we'll see. We're gonna have to start making some progress on everything around here. I have so much stuff. I feel like I keep getting rid of stuff and it just keeps expanding. Like no matter how much stuff I get rid of, there's more. It's because I don't, get rid of things enough. Um, I find things that I've had since like high school. Like I'm 25 years old. Why do I have things that I wore when I was 14? I don't know. Okay, so this is how much we've added for Bloodless Ties so far today. And I haven't written much for the pen name book today, maybe 300 words, something like that. But I am really happy because something finally clicked into place with me for that. And something I really needed. So I'm actually really excited that I figured something out. That book I've kind of been just like pantsing. I didn't really outline it. I was just kind of seeing where the book took me and having fun with it. And now I'm about 7,000 words into it. And I kind of hit a part where I was like, 
maybe I should figure out, you know, what the heck I'm doing with this. <laughs> and now I have it figured out and it's the perfect fit. It's like the missing piece. It makes complete sense to me now. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna put you on a tripod so I don't have to duck anymore. So yeah, I've gotten questions about the pen name. I'm gonna keep it a secret for now, both the genre and my name and what I'm writing and stuff. It's just something that I'm doing for fun. It's just something that I'm trying. And maybe once it's all out, We'll chat about it. I don't know. So I'm planning on doing a rapid release and by rapid I literally mean coming out like every two or three weeks or so. So I'm writing all of it first before I start releasing it but um, I am very excited about it. It's been really fun. It's just um, a little bit too different from my other stuff and I just decided to release it under a different name. I am hoping to get it out this year. So I imagine we will talk about it eventually. So yeah, we are past 84,000 words now for Bloodless Ties. I'm really happy about that. It's only 3.30 in the afternoon, but I am gonna go work out now. So I might get some more writing done tonight. Possibly not, I don't know. But I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can edit it and stuff this afternoon. So thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you guys are doing well. Links for everything we talked about are down below in the description. If you wanna check out the reserve or sign up for our Spain trip, or you can pre-order Bloodless Ties and breakable things. Subscribe to my newsletter. All the usual stuff. Follow me on TikTok. I'll just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye. No.